Welcome back to Let's Speak Vietnamese. Our lesson today is about question words. Before we start our lesson, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also, if you want to self-study all our books, I will put the link below, alright? Now let's start the lesson. The first thing you need to know about questions words is most of them will go at the end of a question. And to form a question in Vietnamese, you don't have to think too much. You just have to follow this structure. We have subject plus the plus object if you do have it. And the last one, of course, is the question word. Let's look at this example. We have tên bạn là gì? So, tên bạn is a subject here, which is your name. And là is is, plays as a verb. We have Z is the question word. In this question, there's no object. So, we just have subject plus verb plus question word. If there is a subject, for example, bạn uống cà phê với ai? In this case, we have bạn is the subject, uống is a verb, cà phê is the object, với ai is with whom is a question word. So, question word goes after the object in this case. Now, let's move on to all the question words you're gonna need to know. First one, I mentioned below, we have Z. Example, bạn tên là gì? Bạn thích ăn gì? Second, no. A with a hat, you have to remember not to make the A sound, so it's not Dao. It is no, keep it stable and high, okay? Bạn sống ở đâu? Bạn làm việc ở đâu? Next one we have is I flat tone high and long, not I. Người yêu bạn là ai? Bạn sống với ai? Next one we have is he now or bao giờ? He now, bao giờ? Oh, with a hook, it's very important to keep your mouth relaxed, so it's not bao giờ. It is bao giờ. With the word when, this is actually an exception. Uh, when we use the tense words which are đã, đang, sẽ, then you can always put the word when at the end of a question. But if you don't use the tense words, then the position of the word when decides which tense you're referring to. So for example, if I want to ask uh, when will you go to Dalat, then I will say khi nào bạn đi Đà Lạt? If you want to ask when did you go to Đà Lạt, then I will say bạn đi Đà Lạt khi nào thế? The word thế in here doesn't really mean anything. I will not explain the word thế for now, but just ignore the word thế and then see it as the whole question bạn đi Đà Lạt khi nào? Can you see that khi nào goes at the end, okay? Next, we have now. For example, if I have two dishes for you, we have pho and bún chả. And then I want to ask, which dish do you like? Then in Vietnamese, we will say, bạn thích ăn món nào? Món nào means which dish? Next one we have is tại sao or vì sao? They both mean why. There's not really a difference between these two. It's just your preference. Like, I often say vì sao a lot, but my friend actually says tại sao way more, okay? So to choose one and then say it. Why is also an exception because the word tại sao or vì sao does not go at the end of a question. They go at the beginning instead. So for example, you can see, instead of saying bạn đến Việt Nam vì sao, we say vì sao bạn đến Việt Nam. Next we have is thế nào. TH, remember, do not say the T too strong. Instead, say both T and H sound, but the H is a bit stronger. So we have thế nào. Dạo này bạn thế nào? Công việc của bạn thế nào? So can you guess what how much or how many is? Nope, it doesn't start with the word thế nào. 
how much and how many in Vietnamese are bao nhiêu? Bao nhiêu can be used for how much or how many, but we have another word for how many, which is mấy. So mấy is used when you assume that the number will be less than 12. I don't know why we use the number 12. It is what we used. All right. So for example, if I want to ask about uh, how many students do you have in your class and in a public school, a class usually has about like 50 or 70 kids. So the word I use will be bao nhiêu. The question is lớp học có bao nhiêu học sinh? But if I'm asking about having kids, Normally, you, I don't think that you should or a lot of families will have more than 12 kids. So, we will say Bạn có mấy con? Instead of bao nhiêu con? The next one is bao lâu? Lâu means long as like in time, not the length, okay? So, bao lâu is how long asking about time. Bạn ở Việt Nam bao lâu rồi and the last one for today is không you don't have this question word in English I can assure but you have this type of question so the type of question is yes no question yes no question in Vietnamese is super easy you don't have to switch the order of the structure you don't have to do anything you just have to repeat the sentence structure of a statement and then add the word không at the end to make it as a yes no question. For example, we have a sentence bạn thích ăn thịt means you like to eat meat. But if you want to make a yes no question, then you keep exact the same sentence and add the word không at the end. So we have bạn thích ăn thịt không. Easy, right? With this word không, make the bubble face. It's not không, it's không. That's it for today. Uh, I have taught you how to make questions in Vietnamese. In the next video, I will teach you how to answer the questions in Vietnamese as well. It's not difficult as long as you keep trying. Again, if you think this video is useful, give us a like and subscribe. Bye!